Welcome to Creative Writing Class. I'm Mrs. Chessa Simiyage, your teacher in Creative Writing. I hope that this semester in this class, you will learn a lot about yourself and your potential as a writer. I will be honored in leading you in that discovery. Are you ready? Without further ado, let's continue. First, I want you to watch this video whose link is provided here and in our Google Classroom. After watching, I will have to ask you a few questions about it. You may watch it now. Now that you're done, these are the questions. First, how we describe the group's creative performance? Did it excite you and made you realize something? How did it make you feel? Second, how did the judges react to it? Did they like what they saw? Why do you think so? Third, why do you think it is important to show creativity in our performances? Have you used cre your creativity in your performances? With that, it shows us a simple truth. Creativity is not only shown in the aesthetic arts, but is also expressed in writing. Meaning to say, not only it is visible in dance, songs, arts, drawings, etc., but also in writing. Yes! You heard it right. Now let's go to our lesson proper. Today's lesson is titled Imaginative Writing versus Technical Writing Forms, which is prepared by yours truly, Mrs. Miyake. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to first define creative writing, second, Understand the nature of creative writing. Third, differentiate creative writing to other forms of writing. Fourth, appreciate creative works of literary authors. Fifth, write your creative writing piece. The learning competency is to differentiate imaginative writing from other forms of writing. I have here the following questions for you to ponder. Do you have any idea what creative writing is? Are you familiar with the different forms of creative writing? Let's try your wit. Question. Which ones are the products of creativity or imagination and why do you think so? We have here research journals, poetry, proposals, reports, drama, fiction, and guidelines. So, we have here the technical writing forms. First is research journal. Second is proposal. The third one is report. In creative or imaginative writing forms, we have the following. Fiction, as you can see, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Percy Jackson. Second is poetry, and the third is drama. Let us now define creative writing. It is the artistic expression through written word. We can show our creativity through writing. Second, it is used to express the writer's ideas and emotions in an artistic manner. Whatever it is in your mind that you want to share to others, as well as the stirring emotions inside of you, you can express it or share it in a very creative way. 
unlike other forms of writing, it uses a language that aims to entertain and captivate the audience. So for it to be a creative writing, the language needs to be elevated for it to be able to entertain us and captivate us as the audience. Have you read a local or foreign piece that affected you a lot? You can briefly describe that reading experience in your notebook. We have here the table of comparison between creative writing and technical writing. Under technical writing, the samples or forms are the following, research journals, proposals, reports, guidelines. Its objective is to instruct and inform the readers. The content shows facts. It has a specific target audience. The diction is formal and the structure is systematic. On the other hand, creative writing forms are the following. Poetry, fiction, drama. The objective is to entertain the readers. The content reflects the writer's imagination. It has a broader audience. The diction is informal and the structure is artistic. We have here sample creative works. And I will be reciting the first one under poetry. The title is Call Me Soul Nature as a Resting Will by William Wordsworth. Calm is all nature as a resting wheel, the kind are couched upon the dewy grass. The horse alone, seen dimly as I pass, is cropping audibly his later meal. Dark is the ground as slumber seems to steal, or vale and mountain and the starless sky. Now in this blank of things, a harmony, home felt and home created, comes to heal. That grief for which the senses still supply, fresh food for only then, when memory is hushed, am I at rest. My friends, I restrain those busy cares that would ally my pain. Oh, leave me to myself nor let me feel the officious touch that makes me droop again. How did this poetry make you feel? Can you find out its theme? And can you identify what its message is for us? The second one is under fiction. It is an excerpt from To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Jem was 12. He was difficult to live with, inconsistent, moody. His appetite was appalling, and he told me so many times to stop pestering him. I consulted Atticus. Reckon he's got a tapeworm? Atticus said no. Jem was growing. I must be patient with him and disturb him as little as possible. This change in Jem had come about in a matter of weeks. Mrs. Dibbles was not cold in her grave. Jem had seemed grateful enough for my company when he went to read to her. Overnight, it seemed, Jem had acquired an alien set of values and was trying to impose them on me. Several times, he went so far as to tell me what to do. After one altercation when Jem hollered, It's time you started being a girl and acting right! I burst into tears and fled to Calpurnia. Upon hearing this excerpt, how did it make you feel? Can you relate to this excerpt? In this story, 
we have the third one, drama. It is an excerpt from Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. Act 1. Scene 1. Before Leonato's house. Enter Leonato, Hero, and Beatrice with the messenger. Leonato. I learn in this letter that Don Peter of Aragon comes this night to Messina. Messenger. He is very near by this. He was not three leagues off when I left him. Leonato. How many gentlemen have you lost in this action? Messenger. But few of any sort, and none of the name. Leonato. A victory is twice itself when the achiever brings home full numbers. I find here that Don Peter has bestowed much honor on a young Florentine called Claudio. Messenger. Much deserved in his part and equally remembered by Don Pedro. He has borne himself beyond the promise of his age, doing, in the figure of a lamb, the feats of a lion. He has indeed better bettered expectation than, than you must expect of me to tell you how. Leonato. He has an uncle here in Messina, which will be very much glad of it. Can you follow the conversation between them? How can you relate yourself to what they are talking about? And how did it bring you back to history? Do you have any more examples under those categories of creative writing forms? You may share that and write that in your notebook. Now you have the following task. The first task is a think-pair-share task. With the help of a partner, fill out the task sheet or Google Docs found in Google Classroom, showing this table to analyze the structure of the creative writing pieces I have just read and recited. Use one for each sample. You may edit the file and once done, turn it in. After that, write an essay about yourself. Do it in a technical manner. After making the first essay, translate it to a creative form. Use task sheet 2 in Google Docs found in Google Classroom. You may edit the file and once done, turn it in. You can make this rubric as your reference for grading the essay. After that, share your essays with a classmate and let him or her evaluate the essays using the following rubric. You also have to add a remark after rating the output the third task is to create a mighty story which will include your latest picture with a simple quote that reflects your appreciation of the lesson or topic it will be posted in your facebook story as you do it you are expected to reflect on the process of performing the task while focusing on your learned concepts about creative or imaginative writing. In conclusion, you may answer the following questions. How do you define creative writing? Second, what is the nature of creative writing? Third, how will you differentiate creative writing from other forms of writing? Fourth, do you appreciate the creative works of literary authors? Why or why not? For quiz number one in Google Docs, it will be found in the Google Classroom. You may edit the file and once done, turn it in. For your assignment, I have this additional activities for you. Perform the following tasks. A. List down poems, fiction or drama that you really like. B. Write a paragraph about each of them 
and C. Provide recommendation to a friend to read them too. For your reflection, in your notebook, journal, or portfolio, write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. I understand that. I realize that. I want to leave you this quotation and ponder it. And by the way, everything in life is writable about if you have the outgoing guts to do it and the imagination to improvise. The worst enemy to creativity is self-doubt by Sylvia Plath. I believe that if you have the desire to apply the things that you've learned today. There is no way for you to reason that you cannot write. And everything around us is specific subjects that you want to write about. You can do it in a creative way. But if you still have your doubts about yourself not having the confidence to be able to write, then you cannot start it even a letter of it. That's all for today. Thank you.